Okay, tell me again what you saw, but slower this time. Okay, so uh, there we were, weren't we? On a routine irrigation check. Bouncing boysenberries. Looks like we got a loose ripple lock. <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Earl? Heard something funny, kind of. Uh, what? Uh, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Something lollop me. <laughs> so, you see, Miss Strawberry, we definitely have a monster in the berry patch. With seven noses? Yeah. And, and it lollops. Lollops? <gasps> well, Miss Cherry, uh, uh, sort of, uh, kind of... Licks in a slobbery sort of way. Oh, how unbecoming. What's going on, Strawberry? Monster in the berry patch. Scary berries! So, what do we do? I guess we go meet it. Huh? <laughs> I don't see any evidence of a monster. <laughs> Sounds like dogs? Be reasonable now. That was my last biscuit. Dogs and a boy. <gasps> Hello? Uh, oh! Excuse me. No, excuse me. Uh, who... Well, where'd you come from? Berry Bitty City. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I live there with my friends. Oh, hi there. I'm Huckleberry Pie. Hello, I'm Orange. Hi, I'm Cherry. Hello, Huckleberry. I'm Blueberry. And <laughs> I'm Earl. Where are you headed? Not anywhere now. I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. Not for long, you aren't. Yeah! Settle down. Behave yourselves. <laughs> so mild, so sweet, so bouncy. Puppies! So adorable. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come back. Is this how guests behave? <sighs> You're so lucky to have so many pets. Oh, Lemon, they aren't mine. Whose are they? Well... Uh, nobody's. <gasps> so you've been driving from town to town in Huck's Pupmobile getting dogs adopted? Yeah, I started with 25. I'm taking these, uh, leftover guys to Berry Big City to start Huckleberry's Home for Pets. Aww. That is quite admirable. Hey, Mr. Huckleberry! Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you're good to go. Doll fixed up. Thank you so much. And thank you, Strawberry. Cherry, and your friends, too. <sighs> well, I'd better head out. But it's late. You might get lost again in the dark. You can stay upstairs here, and I'll stay in my other room above my cafe. Well, that's really nice of you, Strawberry. <laughs> Looks like they feel right at home. Well, I hope you do, too. Oops! <laughs> Almost forgot my guys. Oh, 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 oh,
Before lunch? Oh, uh, could we make it dinner? Uh, is this part of my bed sheet? Oh, Strawberry, I give up. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fell asleep and they stayed awake. I guess you could say they, uh... Redecorated? It's what pups do. Strawberry, you've been so kind. And then this. I insist on fixing your room. That might take some time. However long it takes, I promise I'll put it back the way it was. That's very honorable of you. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes, then. <gasps> It needs some more trash bags? Huh? Nice leashes, Raspberry. Oh, thanks. I kind of thought they were sort of rather stylish in a pinch. Thank you for walking them. It was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we were thinking we could each host a dog. That way you wouldn't have to watch over all seven at once. Great idea, Orange. We can each teach our guests some doggy manners. That's so generous of you. Well, they are all so cute. <gasps> he slipped out of his leash. Guess I'll host you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I haven't named them yet, so be my guest. I think I'll call you Biscuit. <laughs> oh! Okay, you are going to look very, very glamorous. Your fur's a bit too short for a bow. Well, I guess you look just like you did when I met you, which is very glamorous. And one, two, three, one, two, three, and hit your mark right here. See? Okay, now you try. Come on, boy. Oh, almost. Try again and you'll get a treat. Uh, uh, the waltz part comes later. Uh, well, at least you hit your mark. And we came to help. You name it. And we'll do it. Ooh, got a pretty chewed up chair here. We'll take it to the shop and give it a good power sanding. Oh, I can do it. I love sanding and, yeah, uh, machine stuff. I really missed carpentering and, uh, you know, machining. <laughs> Huckleberry! Oh, hi, uh, Blueberry. Sorry, Plum, didn't mean to interrupt your, uh... It's okay. This is my Let Your Inner Music Move You class. That's my favorite. Moving to musical innards. <laughs> Inner music? Yeah, I love that too. You do? That's great. Then join us. Okay, hit me with the beat. Uh, this is move to your inner music. So just... 
Close your eyes. Get quiet and peaceful. Listen to the harmony of your feelings. The bliss of your brain waves. And then go with it. <gasps> Hi, Huck. Hi, Strawberry. Wow, your pets really like Biscuit. Fit right in from the start. How's my bedroom makeover undo coming along? Oh, great. Just waiting for the Berrykins to build me another chip. I mean, fix. Uh, touch up. Uh, shouldn't be long now. Hold tight. Almost done with these muffins. Hey, can I help? Cooking's my favorite. Muffins are my specialty. That would be a very big help. Can you put these in the oven for me while I finish this batter? Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. Hi! Are you okay, Cherry? It sounded like you were crying. Oh, <laughs> that was him. We were trying to teach Crooner to sing, but it's not coming naturally. <laughs> Singing? Hey, that's my favorite! Sweet! You can take Crooner's part. Very best friends forever. We never let each other Together. Oh, uh, just warming up my throat. Huck, why don't you take the next chorus on your own? Oh, uh, sure. Home, sweet home, where memories are made and berries are grown. Yeah. Home, sweet home. A place you can always call your own. Divine! That dog can sing! Biscuit, I thought you were staying with Strawberry. He's sure welcome to stay with me and Crooner. So, uh, Huckleberry, why don't we start with some simple notes, just to warm up your voice? Uh, think I got a tickle in my throat. I'll catch you later. Okay, feel better. For someone who loves to sing, he sure doesn't love to sing. Hi, Orange. Raspberry, what's the hurry? Hair appointment at Lemon Salon. Can't wait to get the new hairdo, the Curlpacious Crescent Quaff. Oh, yeah. I've been dying to get that one, too. Huh? You? Are you sure? Bring it on. Can't wait. Well, would you look at that? Do you want a manicure, Poochie? <laughs> Lemon, you are an artist. Oh, I absolutely... Oh, I love it. something. Can you smell? That's okay. Keep going. You're getting warm. Warmer. Ah, ah, cold! Cold! What is that? Just me. Huckleberry? What are you doing in there? Hiding. Uh, hiding from what? The whole Berry Bitty world. How come? <laughs> you didn't let Lemon talk you into that, did you? I'm afraid I talked her into it. 
kind of like you talked us into letting you join our dance class? Come out of there. All you need is a little water. Oh, no. Don't worry. I have a warm setting on this hose. Oh, okay. Cold! So cold! <laughs> Blueberry, you saved me. Mmm, ginger tea, my favorite. Is it really? Or are you just saying that? I, uh, well, one of my favorites. Why would you say something was your favorite if it isn't? I mean, favorite usually means one only. I guess I thought everyone would, you know, like me better. You've all been so nice to me here, I just wanted to fit in. Aha! I think I'm getting the better of this mystery before it betters me! Hey, that's what Patty Persimmon always says. Patty Persimmon? She's my favorite mystery character! Really? Mine too! Huckleberry, you've got to stop saying you like things just so people will like you. No, really. I like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Okay. Where is Patty Persimmon from? Berry Bitty Glade. But in The Secret of the Feathered Fish, we learned she was really born in Cricket Crossing and then moved to Berry Bitty Glade. You're right. Okay. <laughs> What's her middle name? Middle name, you say? Mm-hmm. Ha! She doesn't have one. <gasps> You're right! Okay, okay. What is her favorite breakfast? In the mystery of the purloined parasol, it was crepes a la mode. Uh-huh. But in the creepy cabinet caper, she discovers she loves persimmon pancakes with pumpkin butter, coconut syrup, and macadamia nuts. That's right! You really do like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Like them? I collect them! I've got them all. All but the latest one, which isn't out yet. It's the Thespian Theater, Theater Thriller. Thriller! I have it! You do? It, it just now, it only just... Oh, how did you get it? You just happened to be looking at a lifetime member of the Patty Persimmon Early Edition Club. Wow. I finished it last night. <sighs> Would you let me borrow it, please? You can have a copy. Compliment to Blueberry's Bookstore. If you make me a promise, no more pretending everything is your favorite. Give Berry Bitty City a chance to like you for who you are. Then you'll be sure we like the real you. Okay, deal. Hey, I thought you were staying with Lemon. Would you look at that? This dog can track. I think I'll call you Sniffer. He fits in everywhere. I wish I had a little of what he has. Biscuit? Ah, hi, Raspberry. Oh, poor little thing. Whenever anyone comes in, she hides. Kind of shy. Hope she'd make a nice guard dog. Let me know when people need help. I don't think Coco likes his sweater. Well, it is kind of thick. And he already has a fur coat. Yeah, don't think he likes it. And he won't sit still for fittings. Hmm. Hey, honey. Oh, morning. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Orange, I don't think your dog is shy. I think she's cold. Really? Mm-hmm. And mine is too hot in that sweater. Can I trade on your dog? Absolutely! Great idea, Raspberry. Okay, Strawberry, open them. <gasps> oh, Huckleberry, it looks beautiful. It looks like it did before my dogs got a hold of it. I hope, anyway. It does, it does. <laughs> Thank you for fixing everything. Thank you for your hospitality. You are welcome in Berry Bitty City anytime. Really? Uh, after all the trouble I caused? Well, everyone makes mistakes. And don't you know how much we all like you? You do? Of course! We liked you from the start. What you're doing for the pups? I mean, who wouldn't like a person who does something so nice? Where are all the dogs? Um, can we talk to 
you about that? Would it be possible for me to adopt Henna? Henna? What happened to the Dalmatian? Doesn't Cinepup have an incredible voice? And Pitter Patch is a great dancer. Doesn't Chiffon look fabulous? Um, where is Chiffon? <laughs> we decided to swap dogs. And perfect matches were made. Isn't that so scouty? <laughs> what do you say, Huckleberry? Of course. Well, I suppose I'll adopt Biscuit. But I haven't seen him for a while. He's kind of a rover. There he is. I'll oh, take you with us. Come here, oh, boy. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, <laughs> no wonder he didn't stay with any of us. He's been your dog all along. Well, Huckleberry, will you let him adopt you? <laughs> I think Tom Tom already has. What do you think, Pupcake? Rock custard? <coughs> oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know, far! <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then. To see before dawn, one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake. Simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, it would be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great. I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's Boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. Take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. I'm so excited. A custom-designed, one-of-a-kind, raspberry original dress for my own poetry night. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have all of your <gasps> merry measurements. Ooh. Now I know what size to make your dress so you can relax. <laughs> Uh, would you like to see my preliminary, you know, my first sketches? And you can make any changes you want. Surprise me. I just love surprises. Well, okay then. I guess so. Then I'll just, uh, you know, go with what I had, I mean, have in mind. If that's what you have in mind. Sounds terrific. Well, I've got to get back to the cafe. Thanks. I'll have it ready for you by story time. Falling star from outer space, how huh? doth I wish to see your face? Oh, falling star up in the sky, I see you twinkle with my eye. Don't fly away, you'll make me cry. Oh, oh. <clears throat> ah, Miss Shortcake, would you know a word that rhymes with cry? Why? Why? Of course, perfect. I mean, why change so much of my poem? Didn't you like it? Oh, oh no, my dear. I simply adored it. I merely made a few changes to give it more of that sense of, well, being there. The actual moment when you saw the star. Well, to tell the truth, I haven't ever seen a shooting star. I was more imagining. Oh, my. But to be a true poet, you must write about what you know. 
To write what it feels like to wish upon a falling star, you must experience it for yourself. Hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, uh, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. Sure, so I made a couple changes, and pretty soon I'm changing my mind back and forth. But now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm not fashion expert? <laughs> always in style, always in fashion, and it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There! Hiya, hiya! I'm a strawberry snow dress. How'd you like me? Stop! Oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah. But now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just... Wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. <sighs> hmm. Thanks again. What are friends for? Blueberry? It's Plum. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Okay, no more yawning. And so that's the deal. Aw, poor Raspberry. And you know how she wants everything she makes to be the very best it can be. That's why I say we've got to finish Strawberry's outfit ourselves. Tonight! What Plum's talking about us doing sounds like this story. The Shoemaker and the Elves. While the Shoemaker is asleep, these elves sneak in and make the shoes to help him out. <gasps> we could be like the elves! Raspberry Secret Helpers! Deal? Deal! Deal. What? 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 <sighs> okay. No more sleeping. Okay, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> 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 
Original design, so I. I uh, well, you see, we thought, well, it was. It was the fashion elves! Fashion elves? Yeah! You know, like the story about the shoemaker's elves? Blueberry has a book about it. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Kinda like, um. The Berrykins! But with pointy shoes! They know when you're in need, and they come at night and help! Really? Can you see them? Well, um. You can! I mean, you can't. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. Those are the rules. You spy on fashion elves, they run away and never come back. That's right. Elves, Psh, what are you gonna do? It must have been because you were wishing so hard for your dress to be made. Your wish came true. It isn't that you couldn't have done it on your own. And it's still from your design. Well, not really. <laughs> this is a much more uh, complicated, but wow. If these fashion elves can make a design this complicated in one night, think what they could do with a little more uh, direction. Huh? huh? Now I can really go wild and design something for Strawberry that is extra, extra ordinary out of this world. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, something like uh, like this. I'll leave a new design out for the fashion elves tonight and see how they do with it. Um, maybe they're... Uh... Only one night elves? Uh, possibly, yes. But in case they are here to stay, I better get designing because Strawberry deserves the very best. <laughs> Keep your heels on the floor as long as possible. Don't you think we should tell her the truth? <sighs> How are we gonna stay up another whole night? I was going to until somebody said fashion elves. I'm sorry. Oh, Releve and turn around. Oh, grand plie. Oh, first position. This is a monster of a dress. We'll never finish it by morning. We've got to for Raspberry. Look, let's divide the design in four parts and each take a section. Good idea. See? Now if it drizzles, we won't get wet. We'll just climb into the tent. Oh, muffin crumbs. It's stuck. Don't tell me. <gasps> oh. Oh. <sighs> Morning, Raspberry. We came to see the elves' latest and greatest. <gasps> this is exquisite! Especially this area. I really love this lace down here. Hmm. But see, it only goes partway around the hem. Hmm. It seems like the elves have gotten off track. Off track? Well, I, I think this outfit is a smashing success. It's fabulous. Just look at the placement of these buttons. So, uh, pleasingly unexpected. But, but, but girls, this dress doesn't look anything like my design. Hmm. But I like this detail here. Oh, 
and this lace over here. And these buttons are quite <laughs> clever. But the whole thing seems like too many of different designs in one. I know. Huh? huh? What are you doing? You're not doing a new design, are you? Uh, no, no, no. I'm writing the elves a note. Well, you could just tell us and... <gasps> Dear elves, please concentrate on uh, one idea and go with it. <laughs> Gratefully yours, Raspberry Tort. So you see the problem? I really think the best solution is to go with my idea. But I don't know how to tell the girls in the nicest way, so I don't make them feel like I'm, you know, putting down their dress designs. And how many nights have you girls been fashion sprites? Elves. Sorry, I've lost count. Um, four? I, tell you what, I'm about to open the cafe, so why don't you come back at five today and we'll talk it over. I think I'll have an answer by then. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks, Strawberry. So what do you think? How can I convince them to go with my idea and not hurt their feelings? Lemon, I'm having trouble hearing. Can you come by the cafe at, say, 5 o'clock? And I'm sure I'll have an answer for you. Five? Great, thanks, Strawberry. Oh, you've got to help me. My idea is just simplest, that's all, but I don't want to appear bossy, you know. I have to get back to the cafe, but come by at, say, 5. And we'll talk it over. Strawberry, you said five o'clock, right? Oh, uh, hi, Blueberry. I'll be with you in just a second. <gasps> oh, oh uh, hey. Hi, hi. Uh, hi. How are you? Hi, all. Tea? Muffins? I know. Smoothies! But I thought you said we'd be meeting in private. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, girls, but I just don't feel comfortable taking secret meetings. I have a feeling this is something that we need to get out in the open. I mean, none of you would like the idea of something being done behind your back, would you? But it was only... We didn't mean to, Strawberry! <laughs> we were <laughs> just trying to... It's okay. It's okay. I know you wanted to help Raspberry, which is very sweet. I just think being secret fashion elves might not be the best way. But we had to. I offered to help her, but she wanted to do it all by herself. Helping is good, but, well... Pardon the interruption, but here are three of my latest versions of your poem for your review, Miss Shortcake. What were you saying, Strawberry? Oh, it's just sometimes you want to make something your own way. You know, it's nice to know you can do some things all on your own. All on your own. Strawberry's right. We should tell her the truth. Oh, but how? She'll be so disappointed. I'd rather make ten more dresses than disappoint Raspberry. Maybe the trouble is that we weren't working together. Let's all agree on one design and start over. <laughs> I've gotten used to oversleeping now that all my work is being done for me. Wow! Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely amazing. Then why do you look so sad? Hmm. Because I didn't make it. I really wanted to make something sweet for Strawberry that was all from me to her. My own design, all made by me. I can't take credit for this, though, even if it is really Fabulously fantastic. Although the elves could surely use some practice with their cross stitching. See, but I'm worried I'm going to hurt the elves' feelings. But I have one more day to make Strawberry's dress, and I'm going to ask them to let me do it all by myself. Listen, Raspberry, you don't need to write the note. There's um, something we need to tell you. It's just that I really want to read everyone a poem of my own. 
Oh, of course. Uh, you're perfectly right, Miss Shortcake. I I'm afraid I got a bit carried away. I hope you know how much I always appreciate your help, Mr. Longface. As I appreciate yours, Miss Shortcake. Your poem reawakened my long-lost love of poetry. Oh. oh, girls, I know you were just trying to help. Well, if I fail, at least Strawberry could wear the dress you made. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. Maybe there's another way we can help you, Raspberry. Huh? If it's too simple, Strawberry, I have a backup dress that is... Oh, I'd know a raspberry design anywhere. It's beautiful. I've done a lot of things so far, but never wished on a falling star. I've heard they're sparkly, fast and white, with glittery tails that light the night. Maybe. They look kind of prickly or furry. Someday I'll know, but I'm in no hurry. Who knows where I'll see one or when? I guess I'll just save up my wishes till then. In the meantime, I'm just having fun. Imagining the time when I do see one. <laughs> Wait! Stop! I can't hide it anymore! But you gotta promise you won't tell anyone! Oh, sure! Of course! Um, absolutely! Strawberry is going to take us on a fantastic... Oh! <laughs> 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 Surprise! My fall colors are in! Fall? Uh, we really are more interested in your summer colors. Like that in a mango mood you had? Or how about your playful papaya? Or sudden summer sunshine? But it's almost fall. Why do you want summer colors? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've known you long enough to sense when secrets are simmering. Um... Uh, okay, okay, but it's a secret. What's a secret? <laughs> okay, the most 
important thing about not letting Strawberry know we know she's taking us on a vacation we're not supposed to know about is acting surprised when she finally tells us. Now, let me see your very best surprise reaction. Wow! Woo! 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 Oh, Super good swell! Oh, yay! I mean, yippee! <sighs> From the top, one more time, with feeling. Visualize that she has just walked in and told us the news. Your reaction is... <gasps> wow, finally! You've got it! You look truly surprised. Surprised by what? Oh, uh, uh, we're practicing for my new play. <laughs> Neat! I won't interrupt. I just came by to find Orange and... Oh, see if you have a diving mask and snorkel at your store? Oh, uh, uh, sure, Strawberry. Come on. <gasps> Do you know what that means? We're gonna go snorkeling on our vacation! <laughs> Wait, I, I don't know how to snorkel. Oh, it's easy. We'll teach you. <laughs> This is the best way to chop onions. <laughs> they usually make me tear up, so... You silly. <laughs> Come on! What did you say? I said, that was close. doing now? I know, she's waxing a surfboard! you if you'd help me write this essay for a contest. Describe your dream destination. I would take my friends on a surprise vacation to the very best tropical resort in the whole bitty world. An island paradise called Beyond the Berry Breeze. Ah, I am so surprised. But, well, that's all I've got so far. <laughs> you you made it all up? Yeah, I just keep writing and rewriting and tossing it out. <laughs> oh, I was gonna give up when I thought of you. You're the perfect person to help me. Sure, just uh, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do to mess it up. I mean, fix things for good. Uh, I mean, fix it up. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. You're the best. I'm the worst. Uh, password? Come on, it's me. Well, it was your idea. <sighs> Beyond the berry breeze. <laughs> That's it. Hi, you blueberry. Ready to try on your beach sarong? No, no. No beach sarong. I love mine! What's wrong, blueberry? Well, I did some research on Beyond the Berry Breeze Island, and can you believe it? There are, um, uh, no restaurants there anywhere. Uh, no place to eat at all. I mean, what kind of vacation would it be if we can't eat? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I'll be very hungry. Well, did you tell Strawberry? No. I mean... I can't give Strawberry the bad news until Strawberry gives us the good news about the surprise vacation. She's got to act. I'm sure 
sure Strawberry will cancel the trip when she finds out. <laughs> we won't let that happen. We can't let Strawberry down. <gasps> we'll live on island food. Ooh, ooh, like coconuts and mangoes and mangoes and coconuts. No, you can't. I, I mean, the island food only grows on very tall trees. Uh, way too high for bitty girls like us to reach. So, perhaps uh, we should forget the whole thing until next year? Or maybe the year after that? Maybe you're right, Blueberry. What if we couldn't climb all the way up to the... I mean, oh, maybe we shouldn't go. I was so looking forward to it. I'm so, so sorry. Well, it's not your fault. I hope they weren't too disappointed. What's awful, Blueberry? <sighs> oh, Bosley Bookworm. I've really gotten myself into a pickle. You're inside a pickle? No, I misunderstood something Strawberry said, and so I told all my friends we were going on a vacation, but we really aren't. So instead of disappointing them, I kind of made up some things that I thought they wouldn't like about the vacation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> may I ask, uh, did it work? <sighs> well, it did, but I never want to go through that again. No, I would think not. Uh, I'll see you later, Bosley Bookworm. I want to see what that sound is. That's it! Higher! Higher! Just because we're bitty doesn't mean we can't bounce big! Yeah! Yeah! Blueberry! For practice! We're not going hungry on vacation. I don't know. Where's your can-do spirit? Kinda in a can't-do place. Don't give up, Blueberry! No, wait! Blueberry? We'll have to work on the landing, but look at all the fruit you picked. Nothing's gonna stop us. Uh, I'm very, very sorry, girls, but, um, well, what I'm trying to say is, well, the trip is off. <gasps> <gasps> Strawberry canceled it? Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, she will. Yeah, uh, I did some more research, and, uh, a very big blue jay. So? So, well, <laughs> the uh, only airline that flies to be on the Berry Breeze Island is, uh, called Berry Big Blue Jay Airways. <laughs> And believe me, it is bad news. You sit on a bird and hang on for dear life. And they don't even land. You have to jump. You have to bring your own parachute. Own parachute? Aww. Dangerous. <laughs> I guess we won't be going to be on the berry breeze. Things. They were so let down. What if you just told them about your pickle that you were in and tell them what really happened? <sighs> Maybe. I know I was wrong not to tell them from the start, but I don't need to tell them the truth now, because they've already given up on the trip. I'm sure of it. <gasps> What's that? Maybe it's the sound of them giving up. It's not impossible. In fact, it's going to be fun. Come on, join us. Oh, maybe some other time? Like now? <laughs> I'm okay. Most.
mostly. We'll take this flying thing a step at a time, Blueberry. We want you to start small and work up to total and complete freefall. Freefall! Freefall? No sky. It's for the vacation. Oh, the vacation. Uh, yes. Now remember, baby bounces. Just little tiny baby bounces. Wow! Maybe we tighten those a little too tight. Strawberry alone. What is it, Blueberry? You know you can tell me anything. I'm your friend. I don't know if you will be after I tell you. I... I overheard you talking about that island. The one in your essay. Oh, my describe your dream destination essay for the contest? Yes, except... I didn't know it was a contest. I thought... I thought you were going to take us all on a surprise vacation. And I told everyone about it. Ooh. The girls were so excited. I didn't have the heart to tell them it was a mistake. So I tried to give them reasons not to go. But they just wouldn't give up on it. Oh, oh my, Strawberry. They're never going to forgive me. Well, don't give up on them. Tell them the truth. That it was... All my misunderstanding. So, there's going to be no vacation. I'm sorry for everything I put you guys through. So, there's going to be no vacation? No snorkeling? No surfing? No mangoes or coconuts? No parachutes or, or, or bungees? No blue jays? Mangoes snork... Blue jays? It's all the things we imagined would be part of our vacation. Hmm. Except for the Blue Jays. It sounds like a perfect vacation. A dream, dream destination. destination! Hey, we can put all the things we imagined into your essay. Great idea! Will you all help me write it? should just give up and send it in like it is. Give up? We never give up. <laughs> now that's the spirit, Blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There must be something else we made up for Beyond the Berry Breeze. The secret knock? Beyond.
down the very breeze. <gasps> and your bitty song. We'll fly to you with these. That's it! Maybe we can make the essay special by making it a song. That just might work! Beyond the fairy breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Some inspiration. 